If you're always disappointed after your doctor's appointment, let me tell you how to make the most of them. I've been a doctor for almost 10 years, I've seen a lot. The first thing is, know exactly what your complaint is. The NHS is under an immense amount of stress and for example, GP appointments are often only 10 minutes long, meaning that within that 10 minutes, they need to hear what your complaint is, ask your follow-up questions, examine you, do your prescription and explain the treatment to you. It's a lot to get through. This is completely outside of the GP's control and you wanna allow time for them to explain the diagnosis to you and the treatment. So make sure you're prepared when you go into your appointment write down your points if you know you have several issues book a double appointment and if you can't book a double appointment let the doctor know at the beginning that you have one two three complaints don't spend all the time on one complaint then at the end say oh yeah and another thing number two always 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 go to your appointment with your medication list especially if you're seeing a specialist and you've already tried certain treatments for that same condition in dermatology it's extremely frustrating to see a patient in clinic and they say that their GP has prescribed several creams and I ask which creams have you tried and they have absolutely no clue so there is a risk that they've waited three, four, five, six, nine, 12 months to see a specialist dermatologist. And then I could send them home with the same cream. So always bring in a list of stuff that you've tried in the past and bring a list of your current medications because if we decide to prescribe something new, there's a possibility that medications can interact. So number three, document things. If your symptoms are varying day to day, jot it down in a diary. If you've got a rash that's changing, take pictures and date them so that we know how the rash evolves. The answer to your problem is in the information that you provide. And number four, write down your questions because I tell you what, you will definitely forget them by the end of the consultation and don't leave until you feel like they've been answered and if you want to bring a family member or a friend with you that's usually encouraged take these steps so that you go into your appointment empowered and knowledgeable so that you can get the best out of your healthcare professionals because we all really want to do our best for you